What's up guys, LJ Crypto back with another video. If you like my content, please subscribe, hit the share, like and comments button. And always know that it is my goal to help you become financially free through the crypto market. So let's get started. So in this video, I want to talk about the term Web 3.0. Probably gonna be a short video, just a little term, just some little terminology I wanna talk about, you know. So I discovered this uh, article by, um, you know, people that I follow on Twitter or whatnot. Uh, there's other things in this article as a whole, but I just wanna talk about Web3. I did want to talk about this uh, a while back, but never got to it. So we're going to start here. So Web3 is the return of the vision of the early internet. All right. So first it talks about Web 1.0. Uh, this was from the 1980s to the early 2000s. Web 1.0 surprisingly was uh, decentralized, just like crypto. Um, it was built on top of open protocols such as HTTP for websites, which we still use, uh, SMTP, SMS, IRC, and FTP. And uh, these protocols were generally agreed upon and weren't uh, subject to change. Uh, yeah. But the challenges with Web 0.0 was with Web 1.0 it was stateless. Um, it didn't capture state or user data. So basically like there is no memory capture, like data wasn't saved or whatnot. I believe this also like kind of explains like with cookies that we have now, there wasn't no feature like that, you know, where you can um, like with YouTube, um, like the videos that you get recommended, you know, with Web 1.0, uh, that won't be possible. So technical, you have to <laughs> really have knowledge of Web 1.0's, you know, technology uh, to really understand how to use it. Uh, missing protocols. There were no payment search apps, social media, and things like that. And Web.0 did not have protocols so where you can basically make money. Um, so though, then we get to Web 2.0, which is early 2000s to now. So you emerge as entrepreneurs, recognize the holes of Web.0. Web and basically built uh, things to solve them uh, and capture the value in the process. Um, companies that were created by entrepreneurs, they captured state, aggregated it, um, and basically building businesses that, you know, help to solve these issues and, you know, <laughs> got to good example here like Facebook so um, so this is a really cool image here so SMS uh, messenger uh, I believe this is owned by Facebook HTTP to Google Chrome SMTP to Gmail FTP to uh, Dropbox and IRC to I'm actually not sure what this is uh, <laughs> probably have to look this up but um yeah. Then we get to the challenges of Web 2.0. Uh, so, in this example, they use Twitter. Uh, Twitter can sh decide to shut down uh, somebody's account. And, yeah. And a gr good example uh, President of the United States, uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. And also Facebook, 
allow brands and publishers to build up audiences on a you know free platform and then change the rules uh, forcing them to pay to reach their audiences so yeah basically saying that these platforms are centralized you know the you know those who made these platforms are uh, you know Mark Zuckerberg, Jake Dorsey for Twitter I believe you know they have more power towards the protocol and what users can or can't do so in the beginning centralized platforms do anything they can to attract users developers and businesses in order to build up multi-sided network effects hmm. so this is for users and this is for developers creators of businesses businesses they seem very similar or basically identical all right so once they built those network effects and they know that users developers and businesses are logged in they switch from attract to extract um, the easiest ways to grow revenue is to start charging businesses and developers to reach customers so this where <laughs> ads come in basically you you convince people to use your platform and then once it gets popular enough you start charging them to make money and that's also then that's where ads come in and all of that so now we get into web 3.0 we just talked about web 1.0 and 2.0 so web 3 the next version of the internet built basically on crypto blockchain technology such as Bitcoin and ETH uh, according to a guy named Dixon crypto networks combine the best features of the two internet errors uh, community governance decentralized networks and capabilities that will exceed those of the most advanced centralized services so web 3.0 the idea of agreement protocols that people can agree on and standards one money uh, baked in uh, uh, a series of APIs that anybody can use to build on um, to an agreed upon set of rules and gain finances, gain money through it over time. Uh, Web 3.0 is built on interoperability. The ability to you know uh, communicate through you know like different chains in terms of crypto that is uh, this is a key concept keep in mind DeFi or decentralized finance um, basically uh, building a new financial system uh, without centralization basically a new um, reinventing you know um, traditional finance such as you know yielding lending um, loans all of it um, even <laughs> like real estate uh, yeah D5 company total world there are roughly 200 profit Projects listed on DeFi Prime alone, each with their own unique features and infrastructure. This means that if you picked any three out of the roughly 200 listed tools, you have over 1.3 million different combinations to choose from to build a new financial product. Uh, there is also a competitive advantage to be gained from how you leverage APIs to build your company or product. So yeah, pretty cool. And of course, to utilize APIs, I mean, this is all what crypto is about, you know, developers are the ones who, you know, build on top of the blockchain and make these protocols and dApps and oracles and all of that. So here's a diagram of the web 3.0 tech stack. So here you have peer-to-peer -peer protocols. Um, Holding language? I'm not sure what that would mean. Uh, so, yeah, L1 and L0. 
this looks sounds more like the like back end lower end so things that you would really wouldn't see too much of and then it's more like the front end more what the user can see that's kind of how I'm, I'm interpreting interpreting this um, it's kind of like the passageway probably get into the last part of this article so basically web 3.0 the person who owns the data who owns their own data is you um, web 3.0 decentralized um, and basically it does it tries its best to cut out the middleman and the reason why I say it, it tries its best is because you the middleman hasn't been completely cut out in crypto because unfortunately you have to do KYC and all of that and you still when you like uh, convert your money to US your crypto to USD you still send it to your bank account and that's still you know the middleman um, so I know in these diagrams so like this would be like the uh, middleman with 2.0 supplier you know the business owner consumer do like the buyer but in web 3.0 that's not the case you know that's the idea of web 3.0 um so yeah yeah the idea is basically using permissionless protocols um you know where people can build off of the technology and they can make money from their own you know innovation and the consumer can make you know money off the innovation just like um, you know one of the, like the best examples I'll say is staking basically DeFi as a whole then, you know you have airdrops where people earn free money earn free tokens just from holding the token um, and yeah I mean this has created jobs people are making establishing businesses off of web 3, 3 protocols you know um, especially if the course uh, met polygon so yeah um, and that's about it, you know. Of course, crypto is still growing. People are going to learn more and more about this over time. And uh, I believe what 3.0 can be a thing. So, that is the end of the video. Pretty interesting concept. This is something that could be the future. I mean, it kind of already is, but this is something that has very high potential of gaining main adoption or even more main adoption I should say but yeah once again if you like my content please subscribe hit the share like and comments button turn on the notification bell whenever I come out with a new video check out the description below and I will see you in the next one